my mic or kill it real briefly there, Sister Lauren. Uh, but what you need to do, if you've got a cell phone, I carry cell phones. Thank God I don't have mine on me today. But if you have a cell phone, turn it off when you leave your car. If you want to bring it in the house, I, 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 I don't have a problem with you having it on you. But the thing about it is, turn it off. Give God his time. Give God his time. Get your minds on the Lord when you come into the sanctuary. Have your mind on Jesus Christ, not on anything else. Because when you come into his sanctuary, a sanctuary is a place set aside. It's a refuge. It's where you can come in and don't have to worry about the devil bothering you. And if you've got that cell phone, the devil's going to bother you. He's going to send you a text. He's going to send you an email. He's going to give you a phone call. He's going to distract you. But give the devil a black eye before he ever has a time to distract you in church. Say, no, I come into the sanctuary to lift up praises unto my master, my savior. Got another surprise this past week. Uh, my son-in-law, Chris, if you will come, Chris, listen to the words to this song. This, is, was, this was a surprise also. So I want you to listen to the words as he sings this song. Two small sons, they walk beside me on the road. The reason that they came was to watch the land. Daddy, daddy, what will we see there? There's so much that we don't understand. So I told them of Moses and Father Abraham Then I said, dear children, watch the land For there will be so many in Jerusalem today We must be sure the land doesn't run away then I told them of Moses and Father Abraham. And then I said, Dear children, watch the land. When we reached the city, I knew something must be wrong. There were no joyful worshipers, no joyful worship songs. I stood there with my children in the midst of angry men. And then I heard the crowd cry out, Crucify Him! We tried to leave the city, but we could not get away. drama, a part I did not wish to play, why upon this day were men condemned to die, why were we standing here where soon they would pass by, I looked and said, even now they come. First one cried for mercy, the people gave him none. The second one was violent, he was arrogant and loud. I still can hear his angry voice scream at the crowd. Then someone said, there's Jesus, I scarce believe my eyes. A man so badly beat, he barely looked alive. Blood poured from his body, 
from the thorns upon his brow Running down the cross Falling to the ground I watched him as he struggled I watched him as he fell The cross came down upon his back The crowd began to yell In that moment I felt such agony In that moment I felt such loss Until a Roman soldier grabbed my arm and screamed You carry his cross At first I tried to resist him And then his hand reached for his sword And so I knelt and took the cross from the Lord I placed it on my shoulder And started down the street The blood that he'd been shedding Was running down my cheek They led us to Golgotha They drove nails deep in his feet and hands Yet upon the cross I heard him pray Father, forgive them Oh, never had I seen such love in any other eye Unto thy hands I commit my spirit He prayed and then he died I stood for what seemed like years I lost all track of time Until I felt two tiny hands Holding tight to mine My children stood there weeping I heard the oldest say Father please forgive us The land ran away Daddy, Daddy what have we seen here There's so much that we don't understand So I took them in my arms and we turned and faced the cross And I said, dear children, watch the land. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lamb. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, there's so much that the church needs to get back to. And and I know that I harp on this all the time, and people probably get tired of hearing it, but there's only one way, and that's Jesus' way. There's one way, and that's Christ's way. Any other way is, is not God's way. And uh, there's some scripture that I'm going to, to run through as soon as I find it. Uh, in John chapter 12, I want, to, I want to bring this scripture back out. If you remember, in the book of Numbers, Moses, the children were cursed. The children of Israel had a curse upon them. Sin entered the camp. And God allowed vipers, serpents, snakes to come into the camp and start biting and killing many of the people. He allowed it because they had disobeyed him. God chastens those he loves. But he told Moses, Moses cried out to God and said, God, what, what, what do we need to do? And he said, make a brazen serpent. Make a serpent representing sin. Hang it on a pole. And when someone in the congregation is bitten, have them to look at the serpent on the pole. 
and they'll be healed. So Moses made the brazen serpent, put it up on a pole, stuck it up in the middle of the congregation and the people, the children of Israel, stuck it up out there. And as the serpents would bite them, they would look to the pole. They would look to the sin symbol on the pole. It did several things. 